Hi, hello, assalamualaikum and very good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss a new topic which is permutation and combination. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve question of permutation first from textbook self-exercise 4.1 and 4.2. Okay, let's start for self-exercise 4.1. We are going to use multiplication rule. Okay, uh, here is the law of multiplication rule states that if we have uh, two events, the first one uh, occur m ways and the second one occur n ways. So then both events can occur m times n ways. Okay, so question number one, um, there are three choices of colors for a shirt while there are five choices of colors for a pair of Okay, determine the number of ways to match a shirt with a pair of pants. Okay, actually, um, we can, the basic concept, we can list the result uh, or the outcomes. Okay, so let's say here we have uh, three shirt, five pants. Okay, okay, so meaning that if we list out, so as shirt one with uh, pen 1. Okay, so shirt 1, pen 2, shirt 1, pen 3, shirt 1, pen 4, shirt 1, pen 5. Okay, another one we have uh, another shirt. So shirt 2, pen 1, shirt 2, pen 2, shirt 2, pen 3, shirt, sorry, shirt 2, pen 4, shirt 2, pen 5. Okay, then the last one for shirt, uh, shirt 3, pen 1, shirt 3, pen 2, shirt 3, pen 3, shirt 3, pen 4, shirt 3, pen 5. Okay, so all together, if we count this, this one equals to 15 ways. Okay, so since all we already learned the multiplication rule, actually, straight away we can... Uh, just multiply three choices of shirt times five choices of pens. Okay, so this one three times five equals to fifteen ways. Okay, meaning that finally you will get the same answer. So next time we just use multiplication rule for this kind of question. Number two, how many ways are there to answer 15 true or false question? Okay, so this one we have uh, 15 question. Okay, true or false are uh, two alternative ways. Okay, to answer. Okay, so therefore, uh, number of ways is by using multiplication rule. So, 15 times 2 equals to 30 ways. Number three, there are four roads joining town A to town B and five roads joining town B to town C. How many ways can a person travel to and from through town B if the person uses the same roads? Okay, so meaning that here, um, the person wants to go from A to C back to A. Okay, so um, this one, we can represent the situation A. B, C like this, okay. A to B, there are four, okay. Four um, um, roads, okay. So, B to C, there are five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, okay. So, if uh, the person uses the same road, we just use the multiplication rule, okay. Same, because same, four times five equals to 20 uh, ways. But for question B, the person is going to use different routes. From A to C, different route. Then back from C to A, different route. So by using uh, the same diagram, okay, we are going to list out the possible ways. Okay, I copy first. Okay, the same diagram here. Okay, so uh, from the diagram, the first way from A to C, let's say 1, 1. Okay, here um, A to C. Okay, 1, 1. Okay, so um, from C to A must be different route. 
So here we can see from C to B, uh, the remaining uh, the remaining part here we got another four, okay, and from B to A, uh, the remaining is three. Okay, so uh, three times four, okay, three times four equals to twelve ways. Okay, so uh, this is one path from A to C. But now, how many paths do we have from A to C? Okay, so just now from question A, uh, from question A, we got 20 ways, right? So this one, one path. This one, one path. So uh, from question A, we have 20 paths. So, therefore, 20 times 12 equals to 240 ways. Okay, now self-exercise 4.2, question number 1A. Uh, without using a calculator, find the value of each of the following. Okay, here we got a, uh, 8 factorial over 5 factorial. Okay, we know that concept of factorial is multiplication of number uh, decreases by 1 okay uh, so this one 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 okay this is 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 okay so all these things we can simplify we can eliminate so this one become 8 times 7 times 6 Okay, this one equals to 336. Okay, for question B, 8 factorial minus 6 factorial over 6 factorial. Okay, so uh, looks like we can simplify uh, 8 factorial in terms of 6 factorial. Okay, so 8 factorial is uh, 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Okay, minus 6 factorial over... 6 factorial okay here uh, we got um common factor okay so we can um uh, common factor is this one okay uh, common factor so we can move out okay 6 factorial okay 8 times 7 minus 1 over 6 factorial okay so then we can simplify Okay, so 8 times 7 is uh, 56 minus 1 equals to 55. See, um, 4 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Okay, this one become 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Okay, uh, again 2 factorial, 2 times 1. So this one we can eliminate. So this one become 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so D, um, 7 factorial, 5 factorial over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Okay, the, uh, the denominator we got 4 factorial and 3 factorial. So we try to change 7 factorial and 5 factorial in terms of 4 factorial and 3 factorial. So that finally we can eliminate. Okay, so this one become um, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Okay, 4, 5 factorial is uh, 5 times 4 times uh, 3 factorial. Okay, uh, 4 factorial. Uh, times 3 factorial okay so then we can eliminate this one we can cancel off so this one becomes 7 times 6 times 5 times 5 times 4 okay so 5 times 5 25 times 4 100 times 6 600 times 7 uh, 4200 Question number two, find the number of ways to arrange all the letters from the following words without repetition. Okay, here we got formula of permutation, arrange all object from N object. Okay, so now we have a uh, cert, okay, S-U-R-D. 
uh, we can see here all these letters are different. So for the first example, let me show you all the alternative ways to find the permutation. Okay, um, method one. Uh, since of we have uh, to arrange all letters from four letters, so we can use 4P4. Okay, then we press the letter, we will get 24 ways. Okay, so method two, uh, we can use um, a 4 factorial. Okay, same, you uh, press the calculator, you will get 24 ways as well. Okay, so then for method 3, okay, since uh, we need to arrange uh, 4 letters, so we need to uh, ready, we need to... Um, prepare for places okay for the first one sorry for the first one uh, we got uh, four choices okay so then for the second one it's reduced by one three choices this one two choices the last one one choice okay so to find the number of ways we just multiply four times three times two times one so finally equals to 24 ways Okay, so by using these three methods, you will get the same answer, which is 24. Okay, question B. Um, locus. Okay, I prefer use uh, P. Okay, so now we have 5. Uh, P5 equals to 120. Okay, so C vector. Okay, we got uh, six letters, so arrange all. So, 6P6 six six equals to 720. Okay, and the last one, permutasi. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So, 9 letters uh, arrange all. So, 9P9 nine nine equals to... 362,800 ways. The next question is how to arrange object in a circle. Okay, if we got an object, the formula to arrange all object in a circle is given by this one, n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so now we are going to apply question number 3. What is the number of ways to arrange 7 customers to sit at a round table in a restaurant? Okay, so now we have a 7 object. Okay, so just use this formula. Okay, so number of ways is 7 minus 1 factorial, which is 6 factorial equals to 720 ways. The last one, question number four, determine the number of ways to arrange eight gemstones with different colors to form a chain. Okay, here, uh, chain is a circle. So, we are going to use previous formula. Okay, so eight gemstone, eight, factor, eight minus one factorial equals to seven factorial. So, this one equals to five thousand forty ways.